Hi everyone. I have a very busy day today. It is Friday morning. Uh, we have a special weekend planned, so I've decided to try and vlog the whole thing. Uh, we'll do Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. This weekend is baby dedication weekend for us, so it's similar to a christening, but uh, it but it's not a christening. <laughs> We're, we're going to publicly commit to raise our child in a Christian household, and we're going back to our hometown, my hometown, but our home church, uh, to do it there with the um, our pastor there. So today we're here in Texas, and tomorrow and the day after that we'll be in Louisiana. Of course we're heading to Louisiana when there's a hurricane in the Gulf. Why wouldn't you? Anyway, I've got... A lot of laundry to do. I've got some cleaning up that needs to be done. My mother-in-law will be coming back with us when we return to Dallas. So i got to get the guest room, make sure that's ready, the guest bathroom, make sure that's ready. And I like to come home to a clean house uh, after traveling, so I'm going to make sure that everything is nice and straight so that when I get in super late on Sunday night, I'm comfortable. And everything's clean and nice and smells good and it just make a happy atmosphere to come home and immediately go to sleep in. So uh, you guys can watch me clean today. Exciting. I think I've got to run an errand or two. So who knows what's going to happen, honestly. There could be a snake in the bathroom. That'll make things exciting, right? Are you going to help me clean the house? No. I bet you're going to make it difficult, aren't you? Eek. Eek, yeah. you going to... You gonna holler every few minutes so I have to stop what I'm doing and come check on you? Would you do me a favor and bounce in your bouncer all day long and then take naps and then maybe feed yourself? No? <laughs> I'll take care of it. Dirty stove. Clean stove. In case you were curious, if you have a hungry baby, this is the slowest countdown in the entire world. The baby warmer countdown could not go any faster or slower. I need it to go faster. <sighs> okay, Gabriel's asleep. It's time for me to take a shower and then come in here and vacuum this living room and the kitchen so that when he wakes up, we can go run errands and then come back and pack and then be ready to go when Mama gets here. Well, the original plan was Gabriel would sleep about an hour in his nap and then we'd get up and I would take him next door and he and Aunt Susie would spend some time together while I ran the errands. But that didn't happen because he decided to sleep for two and a half hours, which is awesome. That's great. It just threw off the rest of my afternoon plans. So I got all the, uh, the chores that I was saving for after the errands done. And now Sarah has texted me saying she's on her way home so she can watch him while I go run the rest of the errands. I did not get to have lunch today because that was one of the things I was going to do while I was out. So I'm having Fruity Pebbles at 3.30 in the afternoon for uh, lunch. Well, Sarah came home and she's watching Gabriel so that I can run the errands that I was planning to run. Um, earlier this afternoon but Gabriel slept so long I wasn't able to get out of the house so I'm doing that now well my intention was to bring you guys along for the ride for my errands but if you're familiar with uh, Dallas during rush hour on a Friday. It's a lot like that last Mad Max movie. 
I'm pretty sure I had a saw guy jump off of another car onto the car in front of me at one point. It was madness. So anyway, I just took care of what I needed to take care of and got home so that we could leave uh, on time. <laughs> you sweaty? A little bit. Daddy's loading up the car after I packed everything. Gabriel is enjoying it either. <laughs> yeah. The puppies are slightly panicked because they know something is happening. Weird thing about me, number 572, I don't like to travel with a dirty windshield. It is 8 o'clock and we are on the road to Louisiana. We leave this late at night so as to not disrupt Gabriel's schedule any more than normal. He usually goes to bed around 7.30. So we do our normal nighttime routine and then load him up in the car and the good Lord willing he'll sleep the entire journey to Louisiana. And it is about a five hour drive, give or take a few pit stops that we have to make. So he is still awake. Well, it looks like it. He's fading, but he's probably listening to me talk right now. So hopefully he'll fall asleep soon. We'll have a easy, unexciting drive ahead of us. There's currently a hurricane bearing down on the Texas coast, so hopefully we'll avoid any rain. We're pretty far inland though, so we're on the way. It wouldn't be a road trip without a stop at Bucky's. All you Texas people know what's up. Y'all know what we're talking Bucky's. about. So I'm going to drop this sign off into the video and upload it using their Wi-Fi, and then we're going to finish this trip. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel to see more and hit the bell so it notifies you when there's a new video. And comment anything. We don't really have a request for what you have to say this time. <laughs> Just say something. So, alright, we'll see y'all tomorrow.